So can you tell your name, please? Uh, my name's Kyle Trainer. I am a barista here at the Castro Starbucks. And today is uh, there's a national strike of the uh, Starbucks. Uh, can you tell us what's the main reasons for this strike? Yeah, so uh, today we got over 110 stores out on strike nationally across the country. Um, we're all out. We're all kind of out here today uh, because Starbucks has been cutting labor across the board. Uh, you know, making our lives a lot harder behind the bar. And you know, we're just here to uh, we're just here to let them know that you know they hold them accountable that they need to stop union busting they need to come meet us at the bargaining table and bargain with us in good faith and you know it's also kind of a nice a nice little welcome for our new ceo laxman who just replaced uh replaced howard so that's another reason we're out here today uh, this is the first sh uh, first cyborg shop in uh, san francisco to yeah. be unionized can you just explain uh, explain us how how it happened and when it happened that you unionized here? Yeah, so um, back in, uh, last year, um, I believe uh, it started. It was roughly around December of 2021, I think, something like that. But um, we uh, we had a plumbing issue in our store, and they um, they ended up opening up the floor. And they found there was a burst pipe under the ground, and um, so there was sewage seeping into the ground. So they ended up, they told us we were going to be closed for about a week, I believe, and telling us that, yeah, you'll be back at work in a week, we just got to fix this problem real quick. Uh, that week turned into four months, and in those four months, um, you know, us workers, us partners at the store, we were scrambling, just trying to find hours, just trying to, um, you know, get, get hours. You're trying to get paid, and uh, the company didn't really do anything to support us in that, so, you know, everyone was kind of on their own. And so finally, um, they brought us back into the store, and they basically told us that, uh, hey, we're going to need another month. To which we were like, no, we can't keep doing this. So we ended up, uh, we did a lot of the cleanup inside of the store, you know, cleaning up cardboard boxes, just trash that was left over from the construction and stuff like that. We ended up doing that cleaning ourselves and we opened the store back up. And then, um, but you know, understandably, coming back from that situation, everyone was pretty pissed off. Everyone was uh, understandably angry. And so, you know, we, one person just, you know, brought up, hey, what if, what if we, what about this union thing? And uh, it kind of just spread from there and we all signed our union cards and then we won our vote in August of last year. Mm. And uh, uh, here you don't have uh, contracts and uh, there's uh, still no bargaining. Uh, uh, what's, the, what's the effect of uh, not having contracts? And yeah, not having uh, contracts? You know, it's, it's, there's been a, there's been a couple stores that I, have for un, uh, have fortunately um, had these bargaining sessions, but what happens is um, Starbucks comes in with their lawyers to these sessions, and so what we do is in these bargaining sessions we have a laptop open, so we can have other union partners hop in in solidarity and be there for that bargaining process. Uh, what Starbucks claims that we are trying to do is we are trying to record them, which isn't happening. No one's trying to record Starbucks. <laughs> But anyways, so yeah, what they do is um, these, uh, you know, Starbucks with their lawyers, they'll come sit at the table, the bargaining table for maybe five minutes, and then they walk away. And I mean, there have been people who, um, there have been partners from Union Chops who, they've stayed, they've stayed at these bargaining sessions for a couple hours, and the Starbucks people never come back. So, and I mean, my store, we, again, we unionized in August, and we haven't, we haven't gotten anything. We have not gotten one bargaining session. Mm -hmm. And um, this movement of uh, bar uh, unionizing in Starbucks, it started two year, one year, two years ago, something like this, yeah. but it's growing all over the country. Yeah. Can you tell something about this? Yeah, I mean, you know, it all started in, um, it started in Buffalo, New York, uh, like a year or two ago. And it all started from there and it just kind of exploded, like... You know, it started off with just the Buffalo store and then it just kind of spread from there. And now it seems like every day, in like every day there's a new union popping up. So mm. it's really exciting. Uh, m most, uh, uh, are there more experience of precarious working, work, uh, precarious workers organization, uh, not only in Starbucks, but uh, are you in connection with other 
uh, shops that are unionizing or other in uh, other yeah, I, uh, companies. I mean yeah, and like um, here in San Francisco, another um, another shop that I believe is going through a pretty tough um, contract fight right now is um, Tartini. It's a bakery that um, you know it's yeah like, but yeah, I mean you know new unions pop up every day. Like um, actually, the service workers here in uh, Alcatraz here in the city they have their own union by, through uh, ILWU, I believe. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah, plenty. <laughs> There's a, a new moment for the union uh, movement in, uh, in the States, yeah. you think? Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, you know, I've had plenty of people say, like, you know, older folks, like, tell me that. I want to say, like, they haven't seen, they haven't seen union activity since, like, this is, like, the 1930s, like, kind of thing. Like, you know, this, it's a big union boom, and I mean, like, times are tough it's hard everywhere and you know it just uh, financially it 